Out of 160 standards, the Department of Health and Human Services found that CHI Health CUMC did not meet four of them. In January, it revoked the hospital's level one trauma status. The four standards that allegedly we did not meet had absolutely nothing to do with patient outcomes. It had to do with inabilities to interpret certain call schedules and things of that nature. The hospital says it immediately corrected the deficiencies following the report. It does have an impact on, in terms of reimbursement. It has an impact on teaching. It has an impact on the care that we're able to provide to people who need that care. CUMC reapplied for its trauma status on January 15th. DHHS officials revisited the hospital on February 11th. That survey team found no problems. We are pleased to again receive the state designation, so our community will have a choice for trauma care. THI health officials did not say how long the four standards went unmet. Prior patients say it didn't matter. At 65, Tom Deacon fell off a building and broke 19 bones and suffered collapsed lungs. The care that I got here I thought was really good. They, they really put me back together and kept me alive. Deacon nearly died. He's thankful he's able to share the celebration with the hospital that saved his life. I want to see it continue. I think that I think the city our size needs two trauma centers.